A tsunami advisory has been issued for Japan's Pacific coast and island chains following Wednesday's major earthquake off the coast of Chile. Tsunami waves measuring up to one meter high are expected. Japan's meteorological agency released the advisory at 3 a.m. on Friday local time. That's about 19 hours after the magnitude 8.3 quake occurred. The advisory will cover Japan's Pacific coast and the island chains of Okinawa, Amami, Izu and Ogasawara. It will also be in effect for the Japan seaside of Aomori Prefecture, the coast of Oita Prefecture, the western coast of Ehime Prefecture and the western coast of Kagoshima Prefecture. The agency predicts that the Pacific coast of eastern Hokkaido Prefecture will experience the first batch of tsunami at around 5 a.m. local time. Other parts of the nation will also receive tsunami by 8 a.m. The agency is urging people to avoid coastlines. Authorities in Chile are getting a clearer picture of the damage from a powerful offshore earthquake. They say 11 people were killed when buildings collapsed. They also say a tsunami smashed into coastal towns. Chilean officials say a wave of 4.8 meters hit the city of Coquimbo near the quake's epicenter. The earthquake didn't do that much damage. It was the water. I never imagined water could do so much damage. The water was so strong. The earthquake had a magnitude of 8.3. Aftershocks continue. The U.S. Geological Survey recorded one with a magnitude of 7. Chilean President Michel Bachelet said officials are using helicopters to monitor the coast. She said some regions remain dangerous. She promised to travel to the worst affected areas. About a million people who live on the coast were evacuated. Some are taking refuge on higher ground. They endured nighttime temperatures as low as 5 degrees Celsius. Authorities say emergency crews are still trying to reach some hard-hit areas. Officials with Japan Meteorological Agency say tsunami waves triggered by the earthquake have reached the country and they've issued an advisory for areas on the Pacific and island chains. We released the tsunami advisory at 3 a.m. The advisory covers mainly the country of Pacific coast from north to south. The agency released the advisory about 19 hours after the quake occurred. 10 centimeter waves were observed at Miyako and Kuji ports in Iwate Prefecture just after 6 a.m. local time. Smaller waves were observed on Chichijima in the Ogasawara Islands around the same time. Tsunami measuring up to one meter high are expected. The agency is urging people to avoid coastlines and estuaries. The advisory covers Japan's Pacific coast and the island chains of Okinawa, Amami, Izu and Ogasawara. It will also be in effect for the Japan seaside of Aomori Prefecture, the coast of Oita Prefecture, the western coast of Ehime Prefecture and the western coast of Kagoshima Prefecture.